Hi, welcome back to another Node Canvas tutorial. This time I'm going to show you what a super action state does. Let's switch over to Unity 2021.2. I've already set up a state machine that lives in this object here with the hat. We have a start state that does nothing. So we could actually just get rid of that and make the super action state the start state. But I thought I'll show you that the super action state is also having a connection. The super action state differs from the normal state in that it has three lists of actions that you can assign. They are called on enter actions, on update actions, and on exit actions. Meaning a super action state is continuously running the on update actions until some other transition, like in this case, the timeout makes the super action state exit to another state. So in on enter, I have a debug lock, which prints this on enter super state here for three seconds. And on exit, I'm destroying the head game object. While the action is running for these five seconds, I have a sequence of actions, which includes a wait for 0 0.6 seconds, then instantiate a blue sphere prefab, then wait another 0.15 seconds and instantiate a yellow sphere. Let's run this because we want to see what the sequence will look like. Just in case you're wondering, when the timeout happens, we log a finito message. And when that's done after three seconds, we go through unfinished to the state that destroys ourselves and ends the state machine. So let's go in there and see the balls falling. We have the on enter message here. And now we have the finito message that stays for three seconds and now the state machine is gone. But notice when I change this from a sequence, which is understandably just wait, instantiate, wait, instantiate, you run these in parallel. What happens then? Let's see. Okay, you can see the balls are falling differently than before. And that's because when we look at the on update action sequence here, these four, what happens is that each of these actions are going to run immediately after the state is entered, meaning we have a wait action running, we have another wait action running, and we have two instantiates. So we instantly instantiate two spheres, and then we wait for 0.15 and 0.6 seconds, meaning that 0.15 seconds is not really actually needed. I can show you this by changing this to maybe two seconds and we'll see that the wait time goes up and the other wait action is simply not really useful in this case. So that's all there is to this super action state. It's quite handy if you need to repeat actions, have a sequence or run something in parallel. And just for fun, let's um, try what happens if you do this without weights. Ah, I love this. And um, by the way, I have another state machine running on the prefab, which essentially just destroys itself after five seconds. So I'm not actually endlessly spawning new spheres, they will eventually vanish. You can see that here. Okay, that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you do, click on subscribe and like the video and of course, come back and uh, yeah. So that's all there is to super action states. I hope you liked this video. If you do, click on subscribe and like the video and see you next time. Bye.